My small balcony garden was left untouched for most of winter. The fallen leaves have piled up, and early spring brought willow catkins onto our balcony. With the sunny warm weather, now is the perfect time to clean up the space and restart my balcony garden. I want to share that the bok choy from my previous balcony video grew really well. Prior to living here, I didn't have my own space to grow plants. An important factor to consider is how much sunlight your space gets during the day. Our balcony is west facing, which means that we get the morning sun and some afternoon light. We moved in and started out with a few tomato and pepper plants and then significantly added more with each following year. For us, it's not necessarily about having a bountiful harvest, but rather the joy of seeing our plants grow, flower, and fruit. I am learning more about interplanting and companion planting. Interplanting is a gardening method to increase your harvest by pairing fast-growing plants with slow-growing ones to maximize the garden space. These plants may also be considered companion plants, which are plants that grows well in the presence of another without competing for nutrients, space, or sunlight. These companion plants can also benefit each other by warding off pests or inviting beneficial pollinators. It would be a waste to toss out these cherry tomatoes. So here you go, little squirrel. It is about time to remove my tomato and pepper plants to make space for new ones. This tomato plant must have grown randomly from one of the fallen cherry tomatoes, and I am repotting it into a larger container. I later read that tomato plants that are root-bound will have a harder time adjusting to being transplanted compared to young seedlings. Since carrots and tomatoes grow well together, I sprinkled in some carrot seeds and seedlings to make the most of the space. The timing may be off, but we will see how they grow. Did you know that nasturtiums are considered trap plants? Nasturtiums are meant to attract garden pests to lure them away from the main plants, such as tomatoes. It is a beneficial plant to have in your garden, and both the leaves and flowers are edible. These are the Alaska variety, and their variegated leaves are starting to show up. So pretty, right? This year, I want to plant more sunflowers. I've sown over 35 seeds in multiple varieties, and these are the Russian mammoths. Their leaves are already getting so big, and I can't wait to see them grow into a mini sunflower forest. I plan to grow a few trailing vegetables such as cucumbers as a companion plant for the sunflowers. 
The sunflower will serve as a natural trellis as the cucumbers grow and will shade them from the summer heat. I am not sure what to do with this lemon plant and if it is beyond reviving because of the pale yellow green leaves. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Since my balcony is right underneath the willow tree, it does require a bit more effort to maintain this space. In the past, I would shy away from putting in any effort such as decorating for a place that I'm staying in only temporarily or for a short period of time. My lease here will end in one and a half months, but now that I spend most of my time at home for work, I want to enjoy this balcony while I can. Here is an overall view of my balcony garden. Once you start a vegetable garden, you will learn as you go. The local library has many available resources on gardening, compost, and small spaces. They even gave me some seed packets to start. Trust me, once you start, you'll add additional plants with each following year, and there will be new plants that you will want to grow. I am learning too, and I hope to share more with you next time.